Hey people, it's Savvy Nick here today. We're going to install Ubuntu 18.04.3. We're going to use this as a development environment where I'm going to set up a IDE on and then we can uh, play around with. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to go ahead and download Ubuntu 18.04 long-term support. Then we're going to flash it and finally we're going to go ahead and install it on a system of our choice. So let's jump right into it and download it first. Right now I'm at ubuntu.com and what we'll do is go to the download section and you'll see the drop down will give us an option for the 1804 LTS version right here of Ubuntu desktop. That's what we want. Go ahead click on that and just give it a few seconds here and the download will automatically start and as you can see it has started up here. So let's give this a few minutes. Next you'll want to start the Belena Etcher app or UNet boot in or whatever other application that you use to flash a USB or CD DVD drive. I'm going to start my Belen Etcher app and from here I'm going to go ahead and select the image that I just downloaded from the Ubuntu.com website. Hit select image and here it is Ubuntu 18.04.3 the desktop version and the 64-bit version is actually standard so you more than likely have downloaded the 64-bit version so make sure the computer that you're going to be installing this on is a 64-bit computer. After that, go ahead and select your target. You can do this by just simply putting in a USB or CD DVD of your choice. It would actually automatically come up once you've done this if you don't already have something in your computer. So I'm just going to insert mine real quick. And you can see it populated here, this uh, SanDisk USB. And I got 16 gigs available. If this populated, great. If not, you can go ahead and select and find your device. Make sure you're selecting the correct device. You don't want to be erasing some, some type of storage with data already on it. And then finally, just go ahead and hit the flash button and it'll go ahead and start flashing right after you put in your password. Just give this a few minutes. And if you enjoy this installation tutorial and you made it this far go ahead and like below it really helps me I also put a link for the Belena Etcher app in the description below so if you want to go ahead and download it it's available for Windows or Mac OS it's free to use and it's easy to use and it's what I choose to use when creating these bootable disks me and what I'm going to do now is fast forward through the flashing of the USB that way we can go ahead and insert the USB into the computer of our choice. And once we've done that, make sure to go ahead and boot into your BIOS, select the boot order, and to select the USB or CD that you have flashed the Ubuntu image on. This is typically done by spamming one of the F keys on the top of your keyboard while your system is booting up. Getting into BIOS is different from computer to computer, so you're going to have to research how to get into your, yours, and normally you're going to have a tab called boot order in which you can select the uh, device that you want to boot first so whether it be your hard drive CD or a USB stick mine's gonna be a USB stick and once I've selected that I'll go ahead and save my boot order by hitting save and exit in my BIOS that usually leads to a reboot and once you have rebooted you will see a similar screen to this alright if you've successfully booted into the USB or CD that you flashed your Ubuntu image on. You'll get a screen similar to this. Go ahead and go to the second option and hit the install Ubuntu. Press enter. This will take just a few moments here while the system's getting ready for the installer. So be patient. And once the installer is loaded, it's going to ask you to pick what language you want to use to go ahead and run the installer on. I'm going to go ahead and select English. Hit continue. Next is the keyboard layout that you want to use. Again, I'm going to use English, specifically the United States version of the keyboard layout. And I'm going to hit continue. You can go ahead and select whatever one that you want that best suits you. Here we're going to get a question on what kind of installation do we want to do. Uh, the normal installation, which includes a web browser, different utilities, the office software, games, and media players, or the minimal installation, which only 
has the web browser and basic utilities. Uh, we'll go with the normal installation here today. And in the other options, I'll go ahead and download the updates while installing Ubuntu. And I'm not going to go and install the third party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware. I figure after I've got done installing Ubuntu 18, I'll go ahead and go back and find the correct drivers and install them myself. So I'm going to go ahead and hit continue on this. The default's fine. Next it's asking me how I want to install Ubuntu and if I want to erase the disk and install it as a fresh operating system. So I do want to erase the disk and install Ubuntu. You want to make sure that you are installing this on a storage device that has no data on it that you will use because it will all be erased. So before you go ahead and erase the current disk that you're trying to install this on, make sure that you have all your data off that. This is a forewarning for you. Go ahead and hit the install now button. You'll get another warning here. And it says, do you really want to write the changes to the disk? This is another warning. As soon as you hit continue, it's going to go ahead and erase everything on that uh, SSD or H where you want to install this Ubuntu image on. So I am positive and I will go ahead and hit continue. Now we're asked what time zone we're in. Chicago is fine for me, so I'm just going to hit continue here. And then we are asked about our name and what we want to name the computer and a username if we want to create one or not. It will still create a root user for you if you choose not to create another user. So I'm just going to put in Savvy Nick here. Savvy Nick for my computer's name. My username is fine. Savvy Nick. Put in a password that you like. And I like to select a login automatically. That way I don't have to put a password in every single time. If you'd like to go ahead and put a password in every time you log in, go ahead and select the require my password to log in. That's just in case you don't want someone else logging into your computer while you're gone. So go ahead and hit continue. And now the installer will continue installing the base system here. It's going to copy some files over, grab some files from the internet, and install them all together. This is going to take a few minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this a little bit for you. All right, and if you've gotten this far where the install went ahead and successfully completed, you'll see a message like this that says the installation is complete. You need to restart the computer in order to use the new installation. Go ahead and hit restart now. And you should get a screen similar to this where it's telling you to go ahead and remove the installation medium before going further. This is because you don't want to just boot right back into the installation again. So remove your USB at this point and go ahead and press enter. Give it a few moments while it boots back up. And here it is, your new Ubuntu 18.04 desktop screen. Thanks for following along. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and like below. Also, make sure to comment and subscribe. And check through my videos if you'd like to install some other distribution of Linux. I have plenty of them.
and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you for watching.